once upon a time, in a small, sunny town, there lived a little boy named Benny. Benny loved balloons more than anything else in the world. He loved their bright colours, the way they floated up high in the sky, and how they bobbed up and down as if they were dancing. his seventh birthday, Benny received a special gift from his parents. A big, shiny red balloon. It was the most beautiful balloon he had ever seen. Excitedly, Benny decided to take his new balloon for a walk around the town to show it off to his friends. As Benny strolled through the town, holding his balloon proudly, everyone admired it. His friends gathered around and they all took turns holding the balloon, feeling its smooth surface and watching it sway in the breeze. Suddenly, a strong gust of wind swept through the streets. Before Benny could tighten his grip, the balloon slipped out of his hand and started to float up, up and away into the clear blue sky. Benny watched in dismay as his beloved balloon drifted higher and higher. of sadness and curiosity, Benny decided to follow his balloon. He ran through the streets, past the town square and into the open countryside. As he followed the balloon, where farmers were harvesting golden wheat, they waved at Benny and he waved back his heart filled with a sense of adventure. The balloon led Benny to a beautiful forest. He had never been this far from home before. In the forest, he saw squirrels playing. He heard birds singing and even spotted a deer peeking through the trees. He felt like he was in a whole new world. One that was peaceful and full of wonder. As the sun began to set, the balloon floated over a sparkling river. Benny sat by the riverbank, watching the balloon reflect in the water creating a dance of colours. It was then that he met a friendly fisherman who shared stories of his travels and the interesting people he had met. Night began to fall and Benny realised it was time to head home. He looked up at the sky and although the balloon was now just a tiny speck, he felt grateful for the unexpected journey it had taken him on. And so, dear listener, Benny learned an important lesson that day. He learned that sometimes letting go of something can lead to wonderful new experiences. He discovered the joy of exploration and the beauty of nature. Good night, little dreamer. Remember, like Benny's balloon, sometimes life takes us on unexpected paths. 
Embrace these adventures, for they are full of surprises and new friends. Once upon a time, in a lush green forest filled with bamboo and bright flowers, there lived a young panda named Poppy. What made Poppy special was that she was not like any other panda in the forest. She had big, colourful polka dots all over her fur. Some were blue, some were yellow, and others were pink and green. Poppy loved playing in the forest, rolling in the meadows, and climbing the tallest bamboo trees. However, sometimes she felt a little out of place, because she looked different from her black and white panda friends. One sunny morning, Poppy decided to venture deeper into the forest than she had ever gone before. She wanted to find a place where her polka dots wouldn't make her feel so different. As she wandered through the forest, she met different animals who were amazed by her unique appearance. First, she met Leo the leopard. Wow! Your fur is so colourful and vibrant! Leo said with a smile. You look like a walking rainbow! Poppy smiled shyly feeling a little more confident with each compliment. Next, she encountered Ellie, the elephant, who was fascinated by Poppy's polka dots. I've never seen anything like you before. You're so special and unique. Ellie trumpeted joyfully. Poppy's heart swelled with pride, and she began to see her polka dots in a new light. As the day went on, Poppy met more forest creatures. Each of them had something kind to say about her polka dots. She played with monkeys who loved her colourful patterns, and swam in the river with fishes who admired her from below the water. By the time the sun started to set, Poppy realised something important. Her polka dots weren't something to be ashamed of. They were part of who she was. They made her unique and brought joy to those around her. So, dear listener, Poppy learned to embrace her uniqueness. She understood that what makes us different is what makes us special. From that day on, Poppy wore her polka dots with pride, knowing they were a beautiful part of her identity. Good night, little dreamer. Remember, like Poppy, you too are unique and special in your own way. Embrace what makes you different, for it is your superpower. Sleep well, and may your dreams be as colourful and joyful as Poppy's polka dots.
Once upon a time, in a bustling forest filled with the songs of birds, there lived a small bird named Sammy. Sammy was a bright-eyed bird with a cheerful spirit. However, unlike his feathered friends, Sammy couldn't sing. No matter how hard he tried, all that came out was silence. Sammy often felt left out, especially during the mornings when the forest echoed with the beautiful melodies of other birds. He would sit on a branch, listening wistfully, wishing he could join in. One day, while watching the other birds sing, Sammy noticed a group of children playing nearby. One child, who was using her hands to communicate, caught Sammy's attention. She was using sign language, and her hands moved gracefully, telling stories without words. Intrigued, Sammy started visiting the children every day, watching them from a nearby tree. He was fascinated by how the girl expressed herself. Her hands danced through the air, painting pictures and sharing feelings in a way Sammy had never seen before. Inspired, Sammy began to mimic the movements with his wings. He practiced every day, flapping his wings this way and that, trying to replicate the beautiful hand signs he had seen. As days passed, the other birds noticed Sammy's unusual dance. They were curious and gathered around him. To their amazement, they realized that Sammy was communicating in his own unique way. His wing movements were elegant and expressive, and they conveyed feelings and stories just like the songs they sang. Birds were enchanted by Sammy's silent song. They understood that even though Sammy couldn't sing, he had found a special way to express himself. The forest was soon filled with a new kind of beauty. A silent dance that complemented their melodies. Sammy became a beloved figure in the forest. His silent song reminded everyone that there are many ways to express oneself. The birds learned to appreciate the diversity of voices, both sung and silent. And so, dear listener, Sammy taught everyone an important lesson. He showed that even if you can't do something in the traditional way, you have your unique talents. It's about finding your own way to share your voice with the world. Good night, little dreamer. Remember, like Sammy, you have your own special way of expressing yourself. Embrace it and let it shine. Sleep peacefully and may your dreams be as joyful and expressive as Sammy's silent song.
Once upon a time, high above a lively town, there lived a small, fluffy cloud named Clumsy. Clumsy was not like the other clouds. He had a peculiar problem. He always seemed to rain at the wrong time. Whenever Clumsy tried to join the other clouds in watering the fields or filling the rivers, something would go amiss. Sometimes he would accidentally rain on a sunny parade or dampen a picnic just as it was getting started. The townspeople would look up and sigh. Oh, there goes Clumsy Cloud again. Clumsy felt terrible about his mistiming. He tried very hard to control his rain, but no matter how much he concentrated, he always seemed to get it wrong. One sunny day, Clumsy decided to float far away from the town, hoping to avoid causing any more trouble. He drifted over a distant forest. He saw a group of animals looking very sad. The forest was dry and the animals were thirsty. Seeing this, Clumsy thought, maybe this is where I can help. Just as Clumsy was about to rain on the forest, he hesitated. What if I get it wrong again? He worried. But then he remembered how much the animals needed water. Gathering all of his courage, Clumsy let out a gentle shower. To his delight, the forest soaked up the rain and the animals danced joyfully in the puddles. Encouraged by his success, Clumsy started to explore more, looking for places that needed his rain. He watered dry fields and filled empty rivers. Sometimes he still got it wrong, like the time he rained on a farmer's freshly hung laundry. But he began to learn from his mistakes. The townspeople started to notice the change. They saw how Clumsy's rain helped the crops grow and their gardens flourish. They realised that even though Clumsy was not perfect, he was doing his best and making a positive difference. And so, dear listener, Clumsy learned that it's okay to make mistakes. What's important is to keep trying and to learn from them. The townspeople also learned to be more understanding and to appreciate Clumsy's efforts. Good night, little dreamer. Remember, like Clumsy the Cloud, it's okay to make mistakes. They are a part of growing and learning. Sleep well, and may your dreams be filled with the kindness and patience that the townspeople showed Clumsy. Once upon a time, in a small village 
nestled between rolling hills and starry skies, there lived a girl named Luna. Luna was no ordinary girl. She had the most extraordinary hair. Her locks were soft and shiny during the day, but as night fell, they would begin to glow, lighting up in a spectrum of mesmerizing colors. Luna's luminous hair made her stand out in the village. During the day, she was like any other girl, playing with her friends, helping her parents, and going to school. But at night, her glowing hair would create funny situations. One evening, while playing hide and seek with her friends, Luna found it impossible to hide. Her glowing hair was like a beacon, leading her friends straight to her every time. While her friends found it amusing, Luna felt a bit self-conscious. Another time, during a village blackout, Luna's hair provided much-needed light. Her neighbours were thankful, and they gathered around her, sharing stories and singing songs. Luna felt happy to help, but she also wished she could just blend in sometimes. As Luna grew older, she started to notice more and more how different she was. She saw her friends with their ordinary hair and longed to be like them. Luna tried covering her hair with scarves and hats, but nothing could hide its glow. One night, Luna sat by her window, looking up at the stars, feeling downhearted. Her mother came to her and said, Luna, your hair is like the stars in the sky, unique and beautiful. It's a part of who you are. Encouraged by her mother's words, Luna decided to embrace her unique hair. She began experimenting with her glowing locks, creating light shows for her friends and family. Her confidence started to grow as she realized that her hair was indeed something special. The village also began to see Luna's hair in a new light. They celebrated the uniqueness by organizing a night festival where Luna's hair was the star of the show. She dazzled the villagers with her radiant hair, creating patterns of light in the night sky. Through these experiences, Luna learned to accept and love her unique feature. She understood that what made her different was also what made her special. Her luminous locks were not just a part of her appearance, but a part of her identity. And so, dear listener, Luna's story teaches us the importance of self-acceptance and confidence. It shows us that our unique qualities should be celebrated, not hidden away. Good night, little dreamer. May you always remember to shine bright like Luna and her luminous locks.
once upon a time. In a lively jungle, rich with the music of nature, there lived a little gecko named Gilly. Gilly was a bright and curious gecko, but there was one thing that made her feel quite downhearted. She couldn't dance. In the jungle, dancing was a big part of every celebration. Birds would flutter, monkeys would swing, and even the snakes would slither in rhythm. But whenever Gilly tried to join in, her feet would tangle and her tail would trip her up. Gilly watched her friends dance with envy. She wanted so much to be part of the fun, to swirl and twirl with the best of them. But every time she tried, she ended up feeling more clumsy than graceful. One day, a grand festival was announced in the jungle. It was to be the biggest dance celebration of the year. Gilly felt a pang of sadness, knowing she wouldn't be able to join in the dancing festivities. As the festival drew closer, Gilly decided to wander off into a quieter part of the jungle to avoid the celebrations. There, in the stillness, she heard a different kind of music. It was the gentle flowing of a stream, the rustling of the leaves, and the soft chirping of crickets. Mesmerised by these sounds, Gilly began to move. She didn't think about dancing, she simply moved to the rhythm of the nature around her. To her surprise, she found herself swaying and moving in a way that felt natural and joyful. Back at the festival, Gilly's friends noticed her absence and went searching for her. They found her dancing alone in the moonlight, moving in harmony with the sound of the night. Gilly was so engrossed in her dancing that she didn't even notice friends watching. Her friends were amazed. Gilly's dance was unlike anything they had seen before. It was unique, captivating, and completely her own. They realised that Gilly had found her rhythm, different from everyone else, but equally beautiful. Encouraged by her friend's cheers, Gilly joined the festival. She danced like she had never danced before, not trying to match anyone else's moves, but simply expressing herself. The jungle celebrated Gilly's unique dance, cheering and clapping for her. And so, dear listener, Gilly learned that it's okay to be different. She discovered that everyone has their own rhythm and way of expressing themselves. Gilly's dance was her own special way of joining the celebration. Good night, little dreamer. Remember, like Gilly, you have your own unique rhythm. Dance to your own beat and don't worry about fitting in with the rest. Sleep well and may your dreams be filled with joy and the courage to be yourself.
Once upon a time, in a quaint little village, surrounded by lush meadows and whispering woods, there lived a hedgehog named Hugo. Hugo had an unusual hobby for a hedgehog. He absolutely adored collecting hats. Hugo's collection was impressive. He had tall hats, small hats, colourful hats, and even a few silly hats. Every time he visited the village market, he would find a new hat to add to his collection. However, Hugo faced a prickly problem. Whenever he tried to wear his hats, they would get stuck on his quills. No matter how carefully he placed them on his head, they would invariably end up hanging awkwardly from his spikes. Hugo felt a bit embarrassed about this. He longed to show off his beautiful hats like the villagers did. Seeing them wear their hats with such ease made Hugo wish he wasn't so different. One sunny day, the village announced a grand hat festival. Everyone was invited to show off their most splendid hats. But Hugo's heart sank at the thought. He knew he couldn't wear his hats like everyone else. Feeling disheartened, Hugo decided to take a walk in the meadow to clear his mind. As he wandered, his quills snagged several hats from his collection. Frustrated, he tried to shake them off, but they only clung on more stubbornly. While Hugo was trying to untangle the hats from his quills, a group of children from the village stumbled upon him. To Hugo's surprise, they were delighted by the sight. They thought Hugo looked wonderful with all of the hats on his spikes. The children's laughter and cheers lifted Hugo's spirits. They encouraged him to attend the festival, hats and all. Hugo, feeling a new sense of confidence, decided to go to the festival, just as he was. At the festival, Hugo was an instant sensation. His unique way of wearing hats captivated everyone. People admired how each hat was displayed on his quills, creating a whimsical and charming effect. Hugo realised that his quills, which he had seen as a hindrance, were actually what made him unique. He embraced his difference and wore his hats with pride, showing everyone that there is more than one way to do things. And so, dear listener, Hugo learned an important lesson about embracing one's uniqueness. He discovered that what makes you different can also make you special. Good night, little dreamer. Remember, like Hugo and his hats, your uniqueness is something to be celebrated. Embrace who you are, quirks and all. Sleep well, and may your dreams be as colourful and varied as Hugo's collection of hats.
once upon a time. In a cosy little town, filled with cobbled streets and friendly faces, there lived a boy named Timothy. Timothy was an ordinary boy with an extraordinary secret. He had discovered that his toothbrush was a time traveling device. It all started one evening when Timothy was brushing his teeth before bed. As he brushed, he made a wish to visit the ancient pyramids of Egypt. To his amazement, as he closed his eyes, the bathroom faded away and he found himself standing in the hot, sandy desert of ancient Egypt. <gasps> Timothy was thrilled. He explored the pyramids, marvelled at the gigantic sphinx, and even met a few friendly Egyptians. But as he roamed, he noticed something peculiar. Many people had poor dental health. This made Timothy think about the importance of taking care of one's teeth. Just as he was learning about ancient Egyptian life, Timothy brushed his teeth again and whoosh! He was whisked away to another time. This time, he landed in medieval England. The castles and knights were exciting, but again, he noticed the lack of dental care. In medieval England, Timothy learned about the food people ate and how their teeth suffered without proper dental hygiene. He started to realise how lucky he was to live in a time with good dental care and how important it was to look after his teeth. Timothy's adventures continued each night. With each brush of his toothbrush, he visited different times and places. He saw the Renaissance, the Industrial Revolution, and even ventured into the future. In every time period, Timothy learned something new about history and dental hygiene. He saw how dental care evolved over the centuries and how it impacted people's lives. He met famous historical figures and even shared tips on brushing teeth. As his adventures went on, Timothy became more and more enthusiastic about brushing his teeth and learning history. He realised that something as simple as brushing teeth could be both fun and incredibly important for your health. Eventually, Timothy decided to share his adventures with his friends. At first, they didn't believe him, but as he recounted his historical lessons and showed them his newfound knowledge of dental hygiene, they were amazed. And so, dear listener, Timothy learned a valuable lesson about history and the importance of taking care of one's teeth. He understood that even the smallest daily routine, like brushing your teeth, could have a big impact on one's life. Good night, little dreamer. Remember, like Timothy, to always take care of your teeth and be curious about the world around you. Who knows what adventures await you in your daily routines? Sleep well and dream of exciting times and places.
Once upon a time, in a quaint village, surrounded by verdant fields and whispering woods, there were two best friends named Ellie and Jack. They lived next door to each other and shared everything from secrets to dreams. However, one day, Jack's family had to move to a distant town, leaving both friends heartbroken. As Ellie and Jack parted, they promised to stay in touch, but as time passed, they found it increasingly difficult. The distance felt too vast, and the silence too deep. They missed each other terribly, but didn't know how to bridge the gap. In the village, there was an old tale about the whispering winds, a magical breeze said to carry messages across great distances. Missing her friend, Ellie decided to try it out. She whispered a message into the wind, hoping it would reach Jack. Meanwhile, in the distant town, Jack felt a gentle breeze brush past him one evening. To his surprise, he heard Ellie's voice in the wind, sharing her day and telling him how much she missed him. A smile spread across his face and he realised the whispering winds were real. Excitedly, Jack whispered his reply into the breeze, telling Ellie about his new life and how he longed to see her. The wind carried his message back to Ellie, who waited eagerly each day for the soft whispers of her friend. Through the whispering winds, Ellie and Jack shared their daily adventures, their hopes, their fears. The breeze became their lifeline, keeping their friendship strong despite the distance. As the days turned into months, the friends realised the power of their words. They learned to express themselves more clearly and to listen more intently. The winds not only carried their voices, but also their emotions, their laughter and their tears. One day, Jack returned to the village for a visit. Ellie and Jack met under their favourite tree, where they had first whispered into the clouds. They talked for hours, realising that while the breeze had kept their friendship alive, it was their effort and desire to communicate that truly mattered. The whispering winds had taught them an invaluable lesson. No distance was too great, and no silence too deep, as long as they kept communicating. They promised each other that no matter where life took them, they would always find a way to stay connected. And so, dear listener, Ellie and Jack's story teaches us the importance of communication in friendship. It shows us that words, whether spoken or whispered into the wind, have the power to connect hearts across any distance. Good night, little dreamer. May the whispering winds remind you of the value of staying in touch with those you care about. Sleep peacefully and let your dreams be filled with the gentle rustle of the winds, carrying messages 
of love and friendship. Once upon a time, in a lush green meadow, speckled with daisies and buttercups, there lived a cow named Millie. Millie was known throughout the meadow as the melancholy moo, because she always seemed a bit grumpy and rarely smiled. (coughs) Millie spent her days quietly grazing, often pondering why the sun was too bright or why the grass was too green. She didn't partake in the playful antics of the other animals, preferring to keep to herself. The cheerful creatures of the meadow, like Benny the bunny and Felicity the fox, often tried to engage Millie in their fun and games. But Millie would just shake her head and say, What's there to be so happy about? One sunny day, a group of ducklings waddled into the meadow. They were playing a game of follow the leader, quacking and splashing in the small pond. Their laughter and joy were infectious and soon other animals joined in the fun. Millie watched from a distance, her usual frown in place. But something about the ducklings, innocent delight, sparked a flicker of curiosity in her. As the days passed, Millie found herself observing the happy animals. More and more. She noticed how laughter seemed to lighten the air and how smiles were contagious. One afternoon, while Millie was watching the animals play, Benny the bunny accidentally bumped into her, toppling over and landing in a heap of daisies. Instead of feeling annoyed, Millie found herself letting out a small chuckle. It was strange and unfamiliar sound to her, but it felt good. (laughs) Encouraged by Millie's chuckle, Benny invited her to join in their game. Hesitantly, Millie agreed. To her surprise, she found herself enjoying the play, laughing and even making a few jokes. As Millie's mood lifted, she began to see the meadow in a new light. The sun seemed warmer, the grass greener, and the sky bluer. She realised that it was her outlook that had been dull, not the world around her. And so, dear listener, Millie the Melancholy Moo learned the value of laughter and positivity. She discovered that happiness is a choice and that joy can be found in the simplest of things. Good night, little dreamer. May Millie's story remind you to find joy in every day and to share your laughter with those around you. Sleep peacefully and let your dreams be filled with the cheerful quacks of ducklings and the warm sunshine of the meadow.
Once upon a time, in a small, lively town, filled with laughter and joy, there lived a little girl named Lucy. Lucy had a very special lunchbox, one that was known to all her friends and teachers. It wasn't because of its colour or shape, but because it giggled when opened. <laughs> Lucy's lunchbox was a bright shade of yellow adorned with colourful stickers, but the real magic happened every lunchtime. As soon as Lucy popped open the lid, a cheerful giggling would burst out, <laughs> causing everyone around to burst into laughter. <laughs> At first, Lucy was a bit embarrassed by her laughing lunchbox. She worried that her classmates might think it was strange. But she quickly noticed how it brought smiles to everyone's faces. Each day, Lucy looked forward to lunchtime with a new sense of excitement. Her friends would gather around, eagerly waiting for the lunchbox to giggle. It became a daily highlight, not just for Lucy, but for her entire class. One day, Lucy's teacher, Mrs Thompson, asked her about the special lunchbox. Lucy explained that her grandmother, who loved to laugh and tell jokes, had given it to her. Mrs Thompson smiled and told Lucy how wonderful it was to have something that spread so much joy. As the days went by, Lucy started to see her lunchbox as more than just a container for her food. It was a source of happiness and a way to bring her classmates together. She began to share her snacks, turning lunchtime into a little party of giggles and sharing. <laughs> Lucy's laughing lunchbox taught everyone in the class the joy of surprise and the fun of sharing. The children learned that sharing wasn't just about giving things away, it was about creating moments of happiness together. The lunchbox became so popular that even on gloomy days, when the sky was grey and the playground was quiet, the sound of the giggling lunchbox brightens everyone's mood. It had a magical way of turning a dull day into a delightful one. At the end of the school year, Lucy's class had a special picnic. Lucy's lunchbox was, of course, the star of the show. The children played games, shared stories, and the lunchbox's giggles were accompanied by the laughter of happy children. <laughs> and so, dear listener, Lucy's laughing lunchbox teaches us the beauty of surprise and the joy of sharing. It reminds us that happiness is contagious and a simple giggle can bring people together. Good night, little dreamer. May Lucy's laughing lunchbox inspire you to find joy in the little things and to share smiles with those around you. Sleep well and dream of a world filled with laughter and kindness.
Once upon a time, in a world much like ours, there was a day when something very unusual happened. The sun, who rose every morning without fail, decided to sleep in. In a small village, nestled in the heart of the countryside, the people woke up to find it was still dark. Birds didn't sing their morning songs, roosters didn't crow, and the flowers didn't open their petals. Everything was quiet and still. Little Emily was the first to notice. She peeked out of her window, expecting to see the golden sunshine, but was met with only the stars and the moon. Mum! Dad! she called out. The sun hasn't risen! All over the village, people were waking up to the same darkness. They were confused and worried. Farmers couldn't tend to their fields. Children couldn't play outside. And everything seemed out of place. Meanwhile, up in the sky, the sun was snoozing away, blissfully unaware of the commotion below. He had always been curious about what sleeping in would be like, and that day he had decided to find out. As the day went on, the village grew more and more disorientated. Without the sun's light and warmth, the world felt different. And the people realised just how much they depended on the sun's punctuality. Emily, who loved to learn about the sun, she gathered her friends and together they made a huge banner that read, Wake up sun, we miss you! They climbed to the highest hill and held the banner up towards the sky. Their message was simple, but it was heartfelt and sincere. Up above, the sun yawned and stretched his rays. <sighs> he looked down and saw the children's banner. Realising the impact of his decision, he felt a pang of responsibility. The sun quickly rose into the sky, spreading his warm golden light over the village. The people cheered as daylight returned. Flowers bloomed birds sang and everything returned to normal. The sun apologised to everyone, promising never to sleep in again. And so, dear listener, the day the sun slept in teaches us the importance of responsibility and routine. It shows us how every role, no matter how big or small, is essential in keeping the world in balance. Good night, little dreamer. Remember, like the sun, your actions matter. Stay true to your responsibilities. Cherish the routines that bring light to your life and to those around you. 
sleep peacefully and let the first light of dawn bring you a new hope and joy. <laughs>